Hey guys, it's me, Daniel Collector. I'm currently live right, right now, and I want to show you what I've been doing recently that you guys might actually be interested in. So as you can see, are you aware of this um, thing called Scratch? It's a website where you can do coding and create games and post them. I started this very recently. I think I started this in like the beginning of January, I mean, end of January to beginning of February, right there. And my username is Dan's Game Ideas. This is my profile right here. I'm a, I'm a new scratcher. I joined two months ago and two weeks ago. I've posted two games. One is called um, Virtual Rhythmic Titty which is basically an electronic version of the Rhythmic Titty toy from Swear Bears on the computer that you can play, and Interactive Flippy, where you can play Flippy from Happy Tree Friends. You select six buttons there and make him talk and make sound. He moves his mouth, too, during the times. Like, he changes face. He only lip syncs in one of them, like the flipped out sound effect. But let's get back to the topic. I was actually working on this game over here, and the game is called Caramel Dancing My Version. We're not looking at all my stuff, we're only looking at this. So let's look at it here. As you can see, so far I've created this part of the game. Click the green flag. This comes up over here. Um, it says Caramel Dancing logo with Dan's Game Edition with his favorite characters. Click play. Then this comes up. Postman Pat comes and introduces it. Hi, my name is Postman Pat. I'm the instructor of the concert. And now I will present you a new spotlight room where characters on the screen dance. There will be two characters on the dance floor. Okay. Um, that was not me that did the voice impression of Postman Pat. I know somebody who can do voice impressions, and they did this for me, and I was very happy that they did. And I will have to make some parts. I am thinking about making level selections of games. You can go to one room of doors. You can go to another room of doors. And each room of doors will have six characters you can have on your screen dancing. These are the... Um, 12 first characters I'll be using. There's going to be two characters on the screen each, and um, the first pair has Flippy and 12 ounce mouse, next Spanky Ham and Rhythmic Titty, then Early Carler and Little George Bush, then Dr. Eggman and Strong Bad, Crumb Sugar Cookie and Tyrone the Moose, and, and then we have Sly from Naughty and Robo from Bonanza Bros. This, this will be level one or room one, whatever you want to call that. And then this is room two. The first three characters I have here are Frog, Pingu, and and this guy, Fetch, or Ruff from Fetch with Ruff Ruff Men. So, can you tell me what I should do, please, and comment down below? What should I do to have characters show up on the screen? Should I do when letters are clicked, when buttons are clicked, like logos, or should it be something else. Just tell me what you guys are thinking, because I want to create a game where you can have two characters show up on the screen. Like, when you click on a room, you get a, you get, you get a selection of 12 characters, but you probably show up with two characters and then click on stuff to change who's on the screen. So, can you please comment down below telling me, because I really want to know. Okay, um, I think I'm probably going to check something real quick. I'm very happy that I created a Scratch account. I am willing to create some games, and I'm hoping that people are happy with them once they're finished. Because I've only created two games so far, and not a lot of people know about them, because I did not get a lot of views, and hopefully this will draw people's attention to the Rhythmic Titty and Flippy games I created. Bye guys, um, you can probably watch this live chat as a video and comment as I asked you guys to if you have ideas. Thank you, I'm signing off.